Hi, it's Nicole McGuirk with this week's From Start to Finish video and layout brought to you by 2 peasinabucketcom This week I have an 8.5 by 11 layout to share with you. This week I thought I would do an 8.5 by 11 layout. Um, a few weeks ago I had some requests wanting to know if I did 8.5 by 11 layouts or if I would. And I have, it just has been a while and so I thought it would be fun to do one today. So what I have here is my 8.5 by 11 base, which is just some American Crafts white cardstock. Then I have a photo strip of 2 by 3 photos. I die cut this circle background using the silhouette and a shape from the silhouette store. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to be putting some punched circles, some 1 and a quarter inch punched circles behind them, or um, circles, stickers that I'll show here in a little bit, and things like that. I'm not going to be using the entire grid. I'll probably cover up part of it. And then I've already printed my journaling on a scrap of this craft card stock, so that's ready to go. For my pattern paper, I won't be using big quantities of any of these, but probably just little bits and pieces, maybe even punched pieces. Plus, I'm going to die cut my title. So I've got this um, ruby red dots and stripes paper. Um, I'll be using the striped side. The other side does have this really nice polka dot. So there is that one. Then I might punch a circle or two from this October afternoon cherry hill paper. It has the cherries on the one side and then this nice book text on the other. From the October afternoon Rocket Age collection, there's this really nice blue paper with teeny tiny navy polka dot. The other side has all kinds of rockets and space type motifs. From the Crate Paper Toy Box Collection, one side has this nice camo print, but I am going to be using this ledger paper here. You can see it even has the word book on here and it just kind of coordinates well with my photos. From October Afternoon, the Rocket Age, this is kind of a cream background with little red mini polka dots. On the other side is some stars. Then also from the Crate Paper Toy Box, there's this really nice blue and red paper. And then the Toy Box Collection also has this nice book paper, which won't really work for my page necessarily as is, but I thought I might punch some of the little motifs to put behind some of those circles that I die cut. Then I have the Rocket Age word and label stickers plus the crepe paper stickers. And what I'm thinking is I will put some of these circle stickers back behind or in these little circle die cut shapes. I think it'll just make for a fun look on the uh, layout. A whole bunch of those, like here's one. It says sun. So I'm going to do that with those and probably add the date and things using some of these stickers. Then here's the uh, circle punch, the one and a quarter inch that I'm going to use to punch some circles. I also have the June Studio AE set called the Observant Traveler. And I wanted to show how this stamp set could be used for things other than travel themed pages. And I'm going to use this big word destination in Ali's script to just kind of as part of my title. I'm going to die cut the rest of the title. It's going to say Destination The Great Escape. And it's just going to be all about, you know, reading and things like that. Then to go with this, and I'm going to use probably a couple more of these word stickers, I have the perspectives stamp set by Allie Edwards and you can see there it has the word read which was is perfect for this and all kinds of, of word um, stamps that will work well for my page that I think I'm going to stamp on some of these craft die cut tags. Um, these are all tags that I had previously die cut out of a scrap of paper from some other project. I like to use up my scraps and I used a tag die from Paper Tray Ink to just punch a bunch of these so that they would be available when I wanted to use them. So I 
probably won't be using all of these, but I'm going to try to incorporate a couple. So I'm going to get started. So I'm just kind of laying out some of my pieces now so that I can make sure that I have everything that I want to use. Just grabbing a couple of stamps, seeing if I want to stamp a border underneath my die cut title. And I decided that was just a little too much and I didn't want to do that. I am going to use the word destination from the June Studio AE stamp set by Allie Edwards from Technique Tuesday. And I'm just going to add a little adhesive at the bottom of my die cut grid. This is a design from the Silhouette online store. And I went ahead and spritzed it with a little bit of the Calico White Mist from Studio Calico. And then I'm going to take some circle stickers from Crate Paper in October afternoon and adhere them either behind or inside of the circle die cut, depending on what size they are. The circles are approximately one and a quarter inch, and I'm also punching a few circles from some of the pattern papers using the same size circle punch. Just gonna move those around, continue to decide I wanna move one of those. And I'm just kind of moving them all around till I get them how I want them. I also grabbed this sticker from My Mind's Eye, which is my son's age in these photos. I always like to try to correspond my stickers that, so that they're actually meaningful as well as decorative. Go ahead, grab just a few more here. Add some adhesive to the punched ones. That one wasn't quite centered, fix that. And then these stickers don't, I was saying that I usually use ones that have lots of meaning. These necessarily don't have meaning. They're more just decorative. Um, but I try to use the ones that are meaningful where I can. This border sticker from October afternoon goes with the title and sort of serves as a subtitle. It makes a cute title where it says Destination, The Great Escape into the Great Unknown. I thought that was fun how that worked out. And even though these aren't photos of my son playing with rockets or space people or anything like that, it works with the theme of the page, you know, where reading kind of takes you to another place and things like that. That was kind of my thinking behind using some of these elements on the page. I um, inked up that destination sticker with the Spice Tin ink from Jenny Bolin, which is like a navy color, and it coordinates nicely with the uh, other colors on the page. I'm going to round those top two corners with the corner chomper, and I decided to spritz my journaling a little bit with the white Mr. Huey ink as well. I felt like since I had that up at the top kind of distressed, I needed to needed to distress down at the bottom of the page as well. And then I cut just a thin strip from one of my other coordinating pattern papers and I'm going to adhere that right above the journaling at the bottom of the page. So I'm just gonna, I didn't trim it, I went ahead and adhered it and then I'm just going to trim both of the ends kind of at an angle. Then I can go ahead and adhere my title and adhere are my photo strip. The photos are all two by three, and I just created that border in Photoshop and printed it out at home. Then these stickers were also from the Crate Paper Toy Box collection, and I like them because they said chapter one, two, and three, which coordinates nicely with my theme of my page as well. These are some tags from American Crafts, and I'm just stamping them with the Allie Edwards stamps. One says read and one says adventure. Also used ink from Jenny Bolin. And then I punched a star using a star punch from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to adhere that with a corduroy brad. And then I have a couple other brads that I'm going to adhere. Some mini clips on the side of the title. Couldn't decide if I wanted to leave that yellow one there or not. 
And then I'm going to take some of those little word stickers from the Rocket Age sticker sheet and adhere those to my page as well. I'm going to finish up with some Divine Twine on the tags and the page is finished. For more information on this layout, plus the list of supplies used to complete it, please visit twopeasinabucket.com on July 6, 2011 under the From Start to Finish series in the Designer Garden. Thanks for watching.